there is one category which needs to be specifically mentioned and that is the polycystic ovarian disease. We know that this is a problem which affects young girls in their teens. It is associated with a lot of weight gain, obesity, irregular menstruation of periods, abnormal facial hair growth and so on. <coughs> a lot of them go on to get married and then subsequently some of them might have difficulty in conceiving. After normal routine treatments have failed such as weight loss which is of course the first recommended treatment for this category and then they would have taken ovulation inducing agents with their neighborhood gynecologist, use of drugs such as clomiphene citrate and sometimes even some injections but often they would end up with an IVF center like ours. Since the past two years we now have a very unique way of treating this particular category of patients. A way which is safe because it is, doesn't have complications of ovarian hyperstimulation and at the same time assures that the patient just ends up with a singleton or at max a twin multiple gestation. What do we do here? We, once the patient comes in on the second or third day of her menstruation, we give her injections of follicle stimulating hormone in a small dose, less, lesser dose than what we would give a patient of the same age group but who did not have polycystic ovaries. We would then expect about 20 or 30 eggs. Normally, you know, we expect just 5 to 15 eggs for an optimal outcome. We would remove all these 20, 30 eggs and fertilize them with her husband's sperm and freeze, that is vitrify all these embryos. So there would be no fresh embryo transfer. Also, the night trigger, which is usually given 36 hours before egg retrieval, which was HCG and which is the injection which usually, usually causes the complication of ovarian hyperstimulation is not given in this approach and we use another injection which is known as an agonist because of which there is no post-operative complication, there is no hyperstimulation, no enlargement of the ovaries, none of the complications which we previously saw and some of you might have experienced if you were suffering from polycystic ovary and had gone for an IVF cycle with conventional treatment. The embryos which are frozen are then transferred in the subsequent cycle so every month the patient just has to come for an embryo transfer so there is no complication whatsoever and also we can exactly control the number of embryos that are replaced into the uterus at just two good quality grade one embryos every month. With this approach we find a good 60 to 70 percent pregnancy rate with frozen embryo transfer in the first cycle itself especially in cases of moderate or even severe polycystic ovarian disease.